Hi, I'm Nelly Hamid. I'm gonna talk with you today on how to use Merge Cube and the call spaces in your classroom. How can you make your student work in a teamwork? How can you manage the group of your student, observe a student creation process in real time? First, you have to log in to the call spaces. Then you have to go to my classes. You have two options create a class or join a class. If you already have a code, you can join a class. If you want to create a class from scratch, you have to press create a class. Notice that this space, you're gonna find it empty if you this is the first time you, you open a class because all your work will save in this space. Okay, we're gonna press create class have to uh, give your class a name I will name it uh, English then create this is the codes you that you gonna copy it and send it to your student by email or uh, whatsapp uh, whatever you want or you have to add uh, the student uh, manually uh, I signed in with the two uh, different uh, emails uh, as a student. Uh, so I am gonna choose that student and that one also and add to class. You have to create an ass uh, assignment to your student. First, you have to decide what type of space you gonna give to your student. AR or VR space or Merge Cube space uh, or let your student decide. Uh, I am gonna choose Merge Cube Space. Uh, gives uh, your assignment a title like conversation. Uh, then you have to uh, write your in structure here like open, for example, open uh, your book. On page five, and use your in your imagination. To bring the dialogue to to life. Then continue. You will find uh, two options. Uh, uh, the student can, if each student can work individual, or the student can work in groups. I'm gonna choose in a group. The program default is two groups. If you want to add more groups, you have to press Add Groups. When you are satisfied with the number of the groups, you have to drag and drop the student into the groups. I am gonna choose this uh, this student to put it in group one, and that student also I will I am gonna put it in group one also, and send. Here it is the four groups that I uh, have made. Uh, each group have a specific student that I drag and drop them in. Uh, after uh, uh, after student log in to the uh, to the group uh, and I I want to follow the student I can press any group to see the student work and how uh, and the process uh, in real time. Now we are gonna go to uh, the student device to see uh, how it look like in the student device. He has to open the call space in his device and log in with his email. And he has to choose a student. Then he has to enter the code that the teacher gave it to him. Now he is joined the group uh, and this is the uh, uh, structure that the teacher gave it to him. 
uh, when he uh, joins the group he will find the merge cube in front of him and start uh, uh, build his own uh, uh, design The student can work together, each one from his device, and I can control him from my device. As you can see, uh, they are working in a teamwork, and they also uh, can uh, put their own experience. They can uh, learn coding with a much amusement way and so, so easy way. Thank you and see you soon in the next tutorial.